Welcome back, space friends. We're back in the grove and it has turned into winter. So, uh, let's, uh, get to it. So, our poor bird friend here wants some roasted, uh, mushrooms, which we already did. And it's in our storage and this game is kind enough to let us just, uh, Pull from our storage wherever we are on the island. There you go, friend. Uh, let's go check on uh, our cat Gigi, too. How do I? I'd like to go inside my tent, please. Thank you. Uh, she wants roasted root vegetables. I think I have to go make some of those. Let's come over here to flamey. We're gonna have to get some tubers out or some root vegetables. Uh, we'll get a potato. I would like to burn something. I would like to burn this potato, please. Uh, we'll give us three roasted root vegetables. That's good. Okay, and then let's go feed Gigi. Here you go. No. Oh no! I broke it. I'm like two minutes in and I broke the game. Gigi! Oh, thank goodness. You had me worried there for a second. Now we got a badge for that. We'll go check it in a second. Let's check this recipe. Learned vintage bed recipe. Oh my goodness, that's such an adorable bed. I remember I had a furniture item I was trying to place down. But it wouldn't let me the other day. There we go. Because Gigi likes cozy decor. It let me this time, so I guess whatever the issue was, it got fixed. Now we got a nice window. Let's uh, check out our badges. We got one for the seasonal change. Got a thousand coins. And Prismatic Pal, the rainbow cat on multiple days. Cool. We got quartz and uh, some coins for that. Uh, let's go see what Charlotte wants. I think that's what this is. Yeah. Can I help you with something? I've been flipping through this old Spirit Scout handbook. Of course, Flipping gets a bit repetitive when there's only a few pages. I think I'm going to make a project out of repairing this old handbook. If you see any loose pages out there, please bring them by. I think I have all of them already. Yeah, I do. Here you go. Three pages. Impressive. I can't wait to stitch these into the binding. Ooh, a partial list of all natural counter hexes and a guide to minor gods. Mr. Kit gets a great write-up. And here's a page about the mission of the Spirit Scouts. The Scout must connect to the world beyond and tend to cursed and unwanted places. Cursed and unwanted places? Hmm. Is that what my camp has become? I remember the last Scout who recited that mission statement. Her sash was covered in basket weaving and marshmallow toasting merit badges. She earned badges for helping ghosts too. But in the end, she gave those badges back. Give me them coins! You know how happy I'd be to have a set of old coins? There's something nice about just old coins. Uh, can I help you? 
Haymaker buddy, I've been stewing on what I did in life to end up as a ghost. But I can't remember doing anything that would explain it. And maybe not remembering is part of the problem. Tell me, have you ever used a dousing rod? Uh, you mean that stick that finds water? Water! Oh no, Maker Buddy. You can't use a dousing rod to find water. That's just superstition. Well, I don't know about that. Pam's great-grandmother found um, where to drill for their well water using an old peach switch dousing rod. And it worked. It was like within 50 feet of how deep she said it was according to the stick. So, you know. A dowsing rod locates lost memories. Pull them right out of the ground. Uh, for those who don't, don't know, dowsing rods are something... Well, you'll see in a second. He gives me one. But its purpose is traditionally to find water according to old tales and such. Um, not scientifically proven, of course. I can make one for you. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Here's a list of materials we'll need. I'd gather them myself, but you know, ghost hands. Okay, I still I need root vegetables and charred fish bones. So we'll need to go back to flaming. Anyway, the, the theory behind the dowsing rod is you hold it in your hands and the end of the rod will dip down when there's water nearby and it'll kind of wiggle to tell you how deep it is. Okay, uh, I gave him the spirit log while I was talking. I didn't really process what I had done. Uh, we need to get stuff out of storage so I can... Oh, I, I don't have any fish. Okay, um, and I really don't want to use, I like to keep one of, at least one of every resource on hand. So I'm going to put these things in storage and I'll go hunting and fishing. Uh, let's plant our blackberry bush. I think right here would be nice. And then we'll take this blackberry over to our museum curator, the captain. Let's also see what it will take to make that bed. Twelve happy uh, uh, imp essence. That's gonna take a lot. You don't get imp essence unless you feed them. Uh... And they need to have a bubble over their head saying they actually want food. Like this one. Right here. So he wants like a red mushroom. I want to donate this blackberry, please. Sounds great. Here you go. Got some quartz for that. Uh, we're waiting. We already have a mission for the captain. We're waiting to find a mega grog, which we will get for completing a quest somewhere. But for now, we'll check on the other residents. Francesca, can I help you with something? Hello, little Fonda. Uh, Fauna. I wonder how this island must look to your youthful eyes. Most of us have been dead longer than you've been alive. But the history of this island goes far deeper. Long before it was a campground, some say it was the capital of a lost empire. The civilization is long gone, but its relics remained. They're not easy to find, though. You need a dowsing rod. Lucky for you, I'm working on getting one. If you help him out, I bet Jeremy Gruffle can make you one. Then I can tell you how to use it. Yep, we're already on it. Are you ready for lessons on how to use the dowsing rod? Now we'll wait till we have it. To yourself, come back to me if you need a dousing rod lessons. I'd be grateful if you'd uh, use the dousing rod to find me a relic. So I just need the dousing rod. I already have a relic from some other stuff I've been doing around. Uh, so we'll need to fulfill Jeremy's quest 
before I can fulfill Francesca's. Hey! Patrice, how's it going? Let's check our mail real quick. I got the sort to become alarmed, but we found bits of a little boat wrecked on the shore. It looked like a lot like your boat. <laughs> Adventure, am I right? Don't worry, if you are lost for too long, we'll come and get you. Almost certainly. Let's get up Master Blake. I mean, he sent us one common cottage, um, accessorized and table. We will take that present, please. Discard this litter. Okay, Patrice, what's what's on the roster for today? I woke up in the middle of the night with a soccer ball on my chest. It was heavy. So heavy it hurt. But if I rolled it off, it would crash on the floor. Wake up my wife. So I let it sit there. Yep, it's going to be one of those days. But I can't complain. I deserve everything I'm going through after all. Oh, a couple of unclaimed packages showed up. Usually I sort them and figure out where they should be headed. Not today. Today I'm just going to give them to you. Ah, oh, Patrice, do you need a hug? He gave us the mug. And a birdhouse. Patrice. Uh, why if it isn't my little litter getter who's come to chat? To take my mind off things, I am rereading my favorite postal decree. Publication 59, abbreviations for use with a zip code. Not only does this document establish zip code system, but it also introduces the two-letter state abbreviations we know and love today. Some say the Postmaster General nailed it to the door on the po uh, of the Postal Service Headquarters, but I think that's an urban myth. Would you like a hug? Here we go. Hug for Patrice. Uh, let's solve this. I just need to put the skull right here. Place here. Found you! Cool. A uh, rare plant stool. Nice. I need to be looking for tubers and stuff and so I need to be digging and searching leaf piles. And we didn't get to finish. That's right. I need to go to Mr. Kit. We upgraded his store, but it takes the, a day to actually process it. And I need to buy some salt. There we go. Wow, salt's kind of expensive. Okay, we got that. I don't think there's really anything here that I want to peruse just yet. Let's check clothes. Uh, cap. Cardigan. A uh, scarf. Jacket. Boa. Spaghetti strap t shirt. Different color boa. Infinity mask. Aviator hat. That's kind of cute. And an Argyle sweater. Look at the aviator hat. We'll wear it. We're lost on an island and everything, but uh, we still crave adventure. Hey, Allison, I'm done. Took me a week, but I did it. Actually, two weeks, I think. That's everything. Now let's mix it together while humming my favorite song. Insert imaginary sounds here. Brain, no working. More sounds. More sounds. Done. Wow, it smells like cinnamon. Fresh cut grass and sun on a mountaintop. I think I've stumbled onto something great. Not all my creations aren't genius. Of course they are. But I think there's something magical about this one. I might make a habit of feeding the animals. You should try it too. Just come to me and say you want to bake something. Okay, now we can bake at Allison's, uh, Allison's Bakery. Um, 
I'm just gonna go through and click on all these so I could get rid of their little new warnings. It lets us make more advanced uh, recipes than our dear old flamey can provide. You know what time it is? It's time for coins! spot. Coin! Oh, that was a hundred. That's a lot of coins. All right, let's give Flamey our log. There you go. Only two more and I'm full. I don't sense any more logs out there today. You should check back tomorrow. Goodness, that's um... That was a short day. But that's okay. I still have missions to fulfill. Uh, on the way to the captain, I'll get some fishing in. Fishing! Got a morose meadow, that's good. I know we've got that one before, so it'll be easy to get that one into our burn queue. Some shields. Here we go. A flounder. They call it a wraith fish. Okay. Definitely a flounder, though. Got a minnow. Here you go, Captain. Here's your mug. Ah, my patience is renewed with liquid patience. You're a fine friend to help me drown my troubles so. Though in my experience, troubles don't stay beneath the waves for long. Maybe I should uh, ease off the grog. Flamey lied! I've got a log! Oh yay! Coins, coins for me. Please. Uh, did I get a mushroom at all? No, I didn't. Okay. You can cast out really far in this game. Got another minnow. That's good. Looks like a storm's blowing in. It doesn't really change much for us. We're a sturdy spirit scout after all. And for all I know, I could be dead too. Got another minnow. And a devil tooth. I don't know if I've ever caught one of those before. We'll go to the captain before we burn any of our fish so we know we're not wasting any precious museum resources. Sardonic sardine. I know I've caught those before. I think we'll fish these three and then we'll go go off and do something different. Got the another morose minnow. So I think this should give us enough in way of charred fish bones. Another minnow. And 
another devil tooth. Maybe I have caught them before. If I got two of them in a day. Okay, let's donate some salt. Teaching parchment. We got some shells in here and the wraith is new. Donate all those. 600 coins. Nice. Two quarts. Another 600 coins and two quarts. Yeah, same there. Okay. Medium fish. Our first medium fish is the wraith. 1401 coins, eight quarts. And salt. Just some quarts for that? That was some expensive product, my good sir. Uh, ten quarts and some relic ash. Can I donate the relic ash? It's the first time I've got one of those. I can! The gift that keeps on getting. Here you go. And we got some quartz for that one. Okay, let's uh look for some tubers. Some roots. And maybe even some red um some red mushrooms for that guy down there. He's got the, the craven for them. So I'm going to be looking for any leaf piles and any digging spots. There we go. We can go help that friend. I'm going to dig here first. Oh, there's one here under this tree. Yay, potato! Exactly what I needed. Oh, there's the chestnut in that one. And a hundred coins. Nice. Okay, I need to get to a space where I'm not going to scare him. And then let's equip it. Wow, I threw that far. I've got a crazy arm strength for a child. And we got some joyous imp essence. Nice. I don't want to mind that. Thank you, though. I know it's there. Hey, you flamey, you lied to me. Here's a log. Yum. Just one final log and I'll be full. Yeah, you've told me that before, that you haven't sensed any, but you've been wrong. Uh, I'd like to burn something. I'd like to burn this potato. And all these fish, please. Nice. Uh, so now I just need a couple more root vegetables. Let's go dig it. This guy wants a yam too, so hopefully we find one for him. I can also catch critters. Uh, to help bolster our... Goodness, that's one huge fish. Okay. To bolster our museum. But first I gotta catch these huge fish. Vein fish? Gross. A brooder. Let's check what's up here real quick. Ooh, a recipe. Ooh, it's a cooking recipe for kimchi. I like how it's nice and spicy. It's got a pepper as the cork. Yeah, acorn. Gladly take the acorns because there's a lot of recipes in the future that require toasted nut flour. And it's really hard to come by sometimes. Ah, 
Okay, we got a second one of those. Maybe we've caught breeders before. All right, let's look for some digging spots. Can't really see any. Could be behind a lot of these objects too. So I'll check behind them. Yep, here's one. We need at least two more roots to uh to get enough uh for the vegetable requirement for our dousing rod. I'm gonna go to the captain and see if I can donate these fish. Okay, yeah, that is my first time. I thought I donated some of these before, but I hadn't, so we'll go through. Oh, I also need to... I'm gonna go back for a second because I can also donate this. Our roasted root vegetables. He also collects cooked meals. That one gave me a lot of coins. That chill. Man, these fish look huge in the water, but it says they were medium. We got a cooking recipe that lets us craft joyous imp essence. You can get normal imp essence from around, uh, so if you get enough of those, you can combine them into a joyous imp essence. And that's what uh, that's for. Okay, back on the hunt for potato. Oh, there's that. Let's go there. Ooh, this is the first time I've gotten one of those, I think. Radish? Yeah, we won't be earning that, unfortunately. You know, for ghosts, they sure sleep a lot. I guess there's not much else to do. If you've been dead a really long time, I'd probably get really sleepy too. What did Ghost dream of? Let's do some critter catching while we're running around. Give us some purpose. You! You're coming with me. A Freezapede. Gold slug. Nice. Once we fulfill Francesca's request, it'll light up those uh, lamps again. All the way down to the shrine. And a mama emolt. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I wonder if it tastes like edamame. Or like, you know, a grub. I don't have a mouth, so I'll never know. I think that winter peed's the thing I already caught, so I'm not gonna... I know this one's a different color. Come here. Whoops, I missed. 9,000 legged one. <laughs> you know, like an old one with 9,000 legs.
the digging spots don't seem to spawn all that often. Oh, here we go. Maybe it's just that they're so easy to miss because they're behind things. Okay, I need one more. Let's go ahead and plant our, our chestnut tree. Oh, acorn tree. My bad. Uh, place here. There we go. Gotta check behind all these trees. This big old sign. What about behind Mr. Kit's shop? Nope. Behind Mr. Kit? He is a quite large and imposing figure. Oh, here we go. Ah, acorn. Let's go donate some things and maybe wait for some more digging spots to spawn. Donate all. Four hundred coins. One thousand coins. Four hundred coins and fifteen hundred. Nice. And we got a badge too. Coin collector. Nice. For collecting fifty thousand coins. I am one rich, stranded little ghost girl. I don't think digging spots spawn on the beaches. So we're gonna try to stay up here. I don't think I got you yet. Come here. Working class grub. You know, good old blue color grub. Ooh, new mushroom type. He wants a potato. I don't think I'm going to give it to him, though. I think the dowsing rod's a little more important a mission. Here we go. It's easier to spot them when the areas are lit up. Oh boy, there's a lot of coins in there. Gimme, give gimme, give Gotta check behind everything. Not gonna lie, all these look pretty tasty. If I could eat, I'd eat all of these. Let's uh drop off some stuff while we're here. We'll keep the grub out. Donate these. I could put these in. The birdhouse can go in. In fact, I think I've got some more. Yeah, I've got another birdhouse there. Slowly gathering birdhouses. Uh, we'll put the roasted roots in there. These mushrooms and acorn. And then uh, let's find places for the furniture. Let's see, I've got. A cozy table, so we'll put that inside. And a natural decoration. So let's, um... Nope, no. I don't want to place the grub out there. Let's put a plant stool here. Right there where you can stop and smell the flowers. And then let's, uh, put this table right there. Uh, I don't need to go rotate it. Oh, Gigi likes the table. Okay, yeah. There we go. I'm gonna give you a nice pet. Okay, uh... Let's 
key wood badge we unlock animal carrying tier one beginner nice I want to try to get the dowsing rod thing done before we move on to dome keeper but I just need one more tube plant one more tube I need like one more potato or one more beet or something. I just need to try and find a digging spot soon. Here we go. Please have a potato. Got the radishes though. Let's go see if that counts as a as a substitute for a potato. I want to burn this potato and these radishes, please. Fifteen! Goodness, that radish gave me so much. Okay, so now we can get the dousing rod. Jeremy! Give unto me the dowsing rod! That's it! That's everything we need for a dowsing rod. Now let me just conjure up a little bit of supernatural DIY spirit. And there you have it! One dowsing rod. You'll need to equip it and use your intuition. When it feels just right, you can mark in the spot and dig. And hey, maybe I can borrow it out in your off hours to start digging up some memories of my own. Uh, whatever you want, as long as you get it back to me. Sorry, I have a thing about sharing my tools. Yeah, no. Well, we're glad to share. Anytime, buddy. I'll be extra careful with it. Okay. Got the dowsing rod. Now we can go back to... Uh, goodness, why did her name pass me Francesca? And, uh, see if uh, we can complete this mission. Ah, I see Jeremy made you a fine dowsing rod. Let me take a look. And you brought me a relic. You know, Captain Bill Weather's snout is fond of collecting these. Once you're, uh, once you're collecting relics regularly, you can even burn them into relic ash at your campfire. I'm told it's a valuable crafting ingredient. Does that seem disrespectful? I wouldn't worry. I'm sure that the spirits concerned will let you know if they take an issue with it. New relics appear all the time, so check for them with your dowsing rod each day. Speaking of which, I should give this back to you now. Happy dowsing! Okay, so the thing about the dowsing rod is you could use it once a day. So we'll put it in our equip slot. And flamey light again! I got another log! I got just a whole other log and he was like, nah. Nah, no more logs today. Three times he's told me that. So it's a hot and cold. So you see there was a little ice... And now it's like a little flame. That means I'm getting warmer. And once a day we can go and find a relic. Okay. You just kind of have to walk around until the next auto fills. Yeah, there we go. And then we can dig. And we got a relic. Nice. A hewn brick to be example. To be example? Wow. My communicator is so busted today. Let's uh, go back to Flamey and prove him a liar because this is the last log he needed to, <laughs> to fire up. My friend, you've been uh, lacking on the job. 
You, my dear spirit scout, are the very incarnation of persistence. I salute you. For days now, I have felt the pull of 11 still hidden lost souls, but I couldn't locate any of them until now. Oh yes, my light shines on long lost houses. A town once thrived here. It shriveled away as small towns sometimes do, and when that happened, a part of her died too. She steps forward now, welcoming. Find her, and she will lead you onward. Okay. Let's uh, go locate our new spirit friend. And that also means a new part of the island has been unlocked, so we'll have some exploring to do. I gotta... Oh, it says there's still a relic around. Maybe they did an update. Maybe you can find it more than once a day now. Oh. Let's see what we get. Okay, got a scroll of some kind. Food scraps. Never mind. I got leather. Uh, let's see. Potato. For this imp over there? Uh, not close enough. Too close. Okay, um... Equip potato. Grow potato. Why did that- oh, there's a tree in the way that turned invisible. It kept hitting the tree. I was like, what happened to that strong R I had like three seconds ago? There you go. It's probably all nice and soft now because I've hit it against a tree multiple times. There we go. And Joyce Imp Essence. All right, let's go find our new ghost. It's a mayor bear. Greetings, neighbor. As the mayor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Cozy Grove. Can you feel the extra warmth in the air? No, it's winter. Our town is so inviting, the sun spends a few more minutes here each day. Our secret? Shh, it's simple. We pay attention to the details. Now I've heard you've taken up temporary residence on our fine island. Did I hear that right? Uh, you heard it. Perfect. Perfect. But here's the thing. You don't become an impeccably charming village by letting any old scout pitch a tent on your front lawn. Don't get me wrong, you've been very helpful to our citizens and we'd love to have you as a resident, but without any paperwork, that won't do. I've got the proper forms right here in my purse. Wait, where's it gone? What a pity. If we can't track down those forms, I can't establish your residency. If I can't establish residency, I can't give you a welcome packet. Without a welcome packet, you won't be getting the complete Cozy Grove experience. And that just won't do. It won't do at all. You've got a bit of a temper for someone in a political position. Okay, do I have a white cap mushroom? I don't. That guy down there was wanting one. Okay, so I need to find the purse, maybe, or the paperwork. Uh, it's nearby a crow's nest. Okay, I made this mistake before. It's not an actual crow's nest. It's the crow nest of the sunken ship. Uh, let me get into place and get the skull down. Place here. Ooh, got a recipe. Let's see what we got. Laboratory chalkboard crafting recipe. Need a burrito. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, so it's somewhere near here. Yeah, it's right there next to Bill Weather. Hey, Captain. Do I got anything you want? I've got a few things. Okay, let's see what we get. Probably a lot of quartz. A thousand coins there. Nice. Oh, 
Michael, he's giving me relic ash for the relic. So literally I handed him a relic, which he supposedly loves, and he burns it and gives me the ashes. Which I guess is fine, because that's what they would be used for anyway. I'd be burning them for crafting later on. So this is a perfectly okay situation, I guess. Right, let's see. Um, we can go back to Mayor. And I did not get her name. Let's, uh, let's check that out. Valentina. Okay. Oh, thank you. Those are exactly the forms I was looking for. Look, I don't want anyone to know that those forms were just lying around in the dirt. If you would refrain from mentioning it to um, in any interviews, I'd appreciate it. To show you I'm serious, I'm giving you my personal number. Give me a call, day or night. My assistant Bruce will answer, and he'll make sure your question is routed to the appropriate committee. Ah, bureaucracy. I also have a mail you your welcome gift, handcrafted by a local artisan. Check it out, uh, in with the postal bear tomorrow. In the meantime, welcome home. That postal bear has a name, thank you very much. It's Patrice Burback. And he's the only postal bear. That's cool, we got a town found now. Let's see if I can get a white cat mushroom real quick and then we'll wrap it up for the day. And I was lucky enough to get one. We'll go give the spirit log to Flamey and call it for a day. There you go, my friend. What do you mean? You ate it! You ate it! You ate it! Okay, he didn't want to... He wasn't as happy as he seemed, I guess. No, he didn't get it. Did the other imps eat it? This is specifically for that one. Back off. Oh my gosh, they did. I didn't know they could do that. Those freaking meanies. They ate that dude's mushrooms. How dare you? Here you go. One piece of wood for you. Delicious. Only 11 more logs than I'm full. I don't sense any more logs today. Check back in tomorrow. And I think he's telling you the truth this time. All right. Uh, and that's what we'll end it for now. So I'm going to switch over to a dome keeper and hopefully actually win around because I don't think I've ever done that on stream. I think I've continuously and consistently died. So let's get uh, switched over. Dome keeper, keeper of the dome. Let's go. They recently had an update, and that's fun, um, where they introduced uh, cave critters. So, hopefully, we'll uh, get to see some of those. I gotta wait for it to load up. It takes a second. Uh, let me, while it's loading up, I can change the stream. Okay, got that nice and saved.
And let if we can't there we go. Nice. Is this a new song? Lovely. I don't think I remember uh, hearing this one. Okay, new game. And I really admire the creator of this game. He recently came out and said he knows that the assessor is kind of busted as an update and that he had pushed it out just so that he could meet a deadline, but he intends to patch it later. So that was really uh, great. Uh, it was really nice of him to come out and explain. And uh, I'm not upset with him at all. Uh, let's see. I don't like the orchard. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do the things I like you now. And I like laser dome with the shield. Uh, we can have a kiwi or a cat. I think we'll just stick with the cat. Oh, there's a new skin. That's nice. I love this skin. Um, and we'll do relic hunt mode. Let's do a small map. Everything on normal. Let's do this. New dome, new home, new me. Let's hope we actually survive this time. Because I've been bad at living. Oh, I killed two that time. Goodness. I am just on a murderous rampage. Oh, I forgot we start. We died last time, but we got to keep the condenser. That's nice. That'll really help us out. Not rare. Resources right at the, the starting point. Usually they're a little further down. Okay, I think I can only really carry three at a time right now. We'll definitely get these up there and get our sensors uh, bought and put into place. Uh, so we'll get the wave sensor and our health bar put in. Let's see, I do have enough for the overcharge, auto overcharge, but I don't have the overcharge unlocked yet on our, on our dome. I could increase production speed or I could add overcharge to the dome. I think we'll hold off on both and we'll just uh, save our resources for now and just do some digging. Oh, and some triangles. Nice. I have a good feeling about this game. I hope that statement doesn't come back to haunt me horribly. Already, already kind of regretting that statement. There's some thick rock up here. It's gonna take me quite a bit to get through that. I changed the settings for the music too because I love the music for this game, but it happens so infrequently I, I couldn't really keep up with it the way I wanted to, but then they changed it and you can play it as often as you want now. And I play it every time because it's just so freaking good. Okay, battle. Get away! Get your face off! Okay. For now, we'll just stick with the grid pattern. Maybe we'll get the uh, resource finder. Yeah, 
I think the first thing I need to update is my drill, because that is some hefty stones there. Get this water while we're going. I can do it. I'm almost there. Okay. Um. I'll upgrade the drill. Now way we can get through that thick rock a little easier. And it helps us mine faster through the other stone. Anyway, so it's it's a nice time saver. Okay. Uh, we've got enough for another upgrade somewhere, so let's take a look. Let's uh maybe help the dome out a little. We'll strengthen the shield. And I think we'll do hardening. It makes the dome a little thicker uh, without the shield. So it gives us a little more damage resistant. I just accidentally lasered someone in space. That's okay, it's not my problem anymore. The moment it leaves my canyon cannon, I am no longer responsible. Gotta just make sure there's nothing good hiding in these corners. Because that's happened before where I've gone through an entire map and I've just kind of hit around the top part out of uh, boredom, waiting for the time to melt down. And uh, there's been some pretty good stuff in these corners sometimes. Ooh, got some water there. I'll come back for it on the way out. And I'm really glad we got the drill upgrade because this side is pretty uh, compact. Nice, two water. I can probably invest in the overcharge now. We've got enough back water that and water in production that it wouldn't be a detriment to lose any of the water. I don't have enough squares though. I'm not square enough for that project. Oh god, it's these guys. Get out of here. Get away! Oh, our first crack. This time we're good. Gotta get back to work as soon as I can. I gotta find them squares. I'll go ahead and get that done. Got some, got some squares finally. Okay, since I can't really carry a lot, we're gonna do a little bit of a hack here. We're just gonna kind of scoot all these to the central column. There we go. And then I'll come back down for them. So that'll start production again. We'll just stick with this three. I probably won't have enough time. Yeah, I won't have enough time to come back down. So we'll get those other squares. Okay, and I'm gonna upgrade laser strength. I know I said overcharge, but uh, I can get that next time with those two laying down in the ground. And right now, uh, making sure the enemies don't touch my dome is top priority. Please look how nice and simple that was. Now I could just come down here. And uh, then get the overcharge. And what overcharge does, it just gives you an extra bit of shield by consuming one water. So there, now it's a little thicker. Gives us a little boost in defense. And I don't know if I finished that other place, but um, we'll go there next time. 
It's a good choice to come here. I've got a lot of squares. Whoops, I didn't mean to to dig that out. I think I need to upgrade my speed and my load capacity. I've got enough here to upgrade one of them already. I think we'll do speed first. The speed also helps in load capacity a little. I didn't notice they shot from the tail. Luckily, the overcharged really helped us. So let's go ahead and activate that again. And we've got enough here to increase our load capacity. So we're going to do that. Okay, let's come over here. Carry strength. Nice. Okay, let's uh see if we can still tunnel in this direction. We can. Just come through here real quick. Make sure there's nothing lurking. That would be super helpful. We're, we're good. So let's just start this new pack. I haven't found any new stuff yet, so we'll see. We'll see if I get a critter. Oh, I gotta go back. There's triangles there, though. Overshot the central column. No. Oh goodness, I can hear him floating. Oh god, there's so many. I need to upgrade my laser speed. Because it is abysmal right now. Ouch! Oh no! They updated the heart on the meter and now it's cracking with my dome. Don't go breaking my heart. Okay, get that in, get the overcharge, get these triangles, because I need them. Oops, I I'm not meaning to hit those. <gasps> Cave critter. Can I pick him up? What do I need to do to capture him? Maybe I need to hide? Dig? Oh, nope. I just made him vanish. I hope I didn't murder him. Well, that sucked. I finally met someone else in this desolate place filled with horrible aggro creatures and the first one that doesn't want to kill me I kill oh hey welcome in cryptic you came in just the right time to see me fail I hope your day is going well I'm going to give you a shout out per usual let me uh Get this in here. Oh, thank God, my oh. We're ghost hunting. I'm gonna. Oh, that was. That wasn't either of you. Oh, that's the same clip as last time. <laughs> Oh, okay. You sounded really girly. 
Let me get in this closet real quick. Nice. Welcome in. I hope your day is going good. Uh, we are trying to survive this time because I have died in every round of this game that I've ever played on this channel. I have not lived once. Safety closet. Yes. Uh, let's, uh, battle. We didn't have enough time to mine more. Get out of here! Get away! I'm armed! And dangerous! Yeah, Getting a little... crusty up there in the old dome. Kind of got to watch for raining shards of glass, I guess, now. Yep, got to the end there. Okay. See if I can get some squares this time so we can upgrade that laser speed. Yeah, there wasn't anything over here. Downward we go! Definitely need to upgrade our laser speed. It's uh, sorely lacking. Oh, there's the dude! He didn't die! Okay, how do I get him? Okay, let's see. Oh, I just really want this upgrade. Don't kill my dome. I'm sorry I crushed your friends. I didn't mean to. Stud laser! Oh, or the lift. Both of these are really good, actually. I don't know which one I should choose. The lift will carry things, but the stun laser is really going to help me in combat. So we're going to go stun laser. It's really going to help me with those aerial enemies, and this uh, map particularly seems to have a, a heavy amount of aerial enemies. Do I have... I don't have anything to upgrade with. Alright, to battle! Get him, stone laser, get him! Ugh. Get back! Okay, let's, um, let's, uh, heal a little. Our cat's just chilling. Got a care in the world. Weird creatures planting their faces on the dome. It don't give a flying flip. Okay, got through that. Just create a shortcut back in case we get stuck over here later on. Let's check this side now. Our friend's over there, but I don't know. I don't know if we can get it to help us at all. Supposedly, you're, you should be able to befriend a couple of these to assist you. You want a water? No. He's just dancing. He's just vibing. Let's uh get the overcharge activated. I don't have a lot of time to go much of anywhere or do much of anything, so let's just go sit back in the chair. Hey Sky, welcome in! Welcome in. We are trying to survive. This is Dome Keeper. And uh, I'm very bad at keeping domes, it turns out. But now I've got a stun laser! You get him, stun laser! You tell him who's boss! Yeah, stun laser was definitely the right choice in upgrade. Aha!
if there's a blizzard going on outside. Good thing I'm underground. But you can't touch me. Oh, finally some squares. Thank goodness. No, don't drop that one. We want these ones at the end so we can do a nice slide. Okay, let's uh bring these home. And then we'll go. We've got enough time to go back and get those other ones. And then we'll upgrade our laser speed, finally. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. And I almost crushed one of them again. I gotta be careful where I'm pointing. Okay. Uh, one laser speed upgrade, please. Thank you. Let's go check out. Okay, I'm gonna get the central column down while they're not dancing over here because I don't want to crush them later. Uh, overcharge. There we go. To battle! Get away! I don't want your nasty face all up on my dome. My stun laser is going to take care of that guy over there for me. For a second. I'll focus on the... Yeah! Got overheated. The way these guys fly, just so majestic. They feel like they're uh, listening to Glitch Hop. Let's see. Uh, also, just feel uh, felt like you deserved more compliments from the amazing drawings. You went above and beyond. Thank you so much for everything. You're one super kind and talented artist slime. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad that you enjoy them. And that's really all that matters to me. But uh, thank you for the compliments. I have a hard time accepting compliments because... I'm dumb like that, but I will keep practicing. Uh, I didn't. I went down too far. You want to keep it within the two by two view range? Look, there's a third one. What are you? What are you? But what are you? I can't interact with it. Okay, maybe I need to find something else. Yeah, there's a couple of these critters that'll help you out in the mines, but I don't know which ones. Oh, I gotta get back. Ah, gonna miss it. I'm not fast enough. I really need to keep an eye. Again, I really wish there was an alarm upgrade because I'm gonna keep in time. Okay, I, I don't have anything. Gotta get rid of these aerial enemies first because they do more damage. Get your faces away! Uh, okay, I think I've got some... I've got one triangle for repairs. One measly triangle. If only you could buy potatoes in this game. <laughs> that... That would definitely be a thing. I still don't know what you are! Tell me! <sighs> I probably have to come back. I don't know what it needs. Maybe it needs a water? Because it has a circle icon? So maybe let's bring some water to it. See if that does anything. how I refer to the water as water but then I just say triangles and squares for the other two minerals they have technical names cobalt's one of them 
Okay. Hello, friend. What are you? What are you? Do you need more water? You're so precious and I will protect you, I promise. I don't know what you are yet and I already love you. Okay, uh, I'll be back. I just gotta go defend the dome. Uh, let's get overcharged. Protect our dome a little better. God, I get rid of one and another pops up. Where, where am I? Here I am. I'm not doing hot! Go away! I think I'm gonna die again. I'm like one of the worst gamers on the planet. Okay, more water for friend. More water for friend. Um, I got squares. That's good. And triangles. Thank goodness. I'm gonna take these triangles first and maybe just... Friend! Hello, friend! Oh, it's helping me carry things! <gasps> you are the most precious friend I've had in a while. Thank you. I'm sure you got this. Just don't die. Yeah, that's uh, easier said than done. I've died like seven times during my streak. <laughs> Which is funny, because when I play off stream, I never like die, really. Oh, I love my space squid. Space squid for life. Oh, you're so precious. I'll let you get one and I'll get the other two. I'm weird. I kind of think the cephalopod family is some of the cutest animals on planet Earth. For those of you who don't know, cephalopoda encompasses things like octopus, squid, and cuttlefish. To give you a variety. Just a, a sample. Okay, I've got to find something to protect me from the aerial attacks. I'm going to spec into reflection. Because that'll bounce their attacks back onto them. And temporarily protect me from the aerial attacks. So that's definitely going to be a huge help. I'm going to upgrade stun laser 2 with fire endurance so it can last longer. Oh, and I can uh, heal myself a little, which I definitely need. Okay, to battle. And I'll wait and save my reflection for when I need it. Like now. That would have been a good time. Okay, I'm gonna wait. He's... Well, he was coming back over. Stun laser got him. There we go. Oh, squid friend, you're so precious. Where did you get that square? I don't even remember leaving a square behind. Oh well. Let's find more materials. I'm gonna need so many more materials. Ooh, squares. Perfect. He's just so beautiful. Look at his tentacles. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the water. Okay, we gotta get back to our battle station. 
You know, the things tend to freeze during battle. Yeah, okay, the, yeah, the squid is waiting for the battle to be completed. That's a, a good thing to know. Okay, I've got all the squares. We're going to... Uh, I can't really upgrade my ancillary things without water. Let's increase the production speed of the condenser so we have more water. And then I think I'm going to increase my speed so I can get back to the dome quicker. All right. Yep, I think we're good. Do your worst. No! I wasn't in the chair. Oh, my gilly brain. I hurt myself. Oh, God, not these guys. Get away. Get back. I don't want you here. I don't eat cookies. Get off my doorstep. Oh, thank goodness. Those guys will do a lot of damage if you're not careful. I probably need to upgrade my drill too. Because it's taken a little bit to dig through this uh, layer. Water! That's nice. I'm gonna take that on my way back. Squares! And another dancing friend. This is taking forever to break through. I must have picked up the one he was aiming for. Because he stopped there for a second. You had to think about it. Okay. Drop these here. Okay, and then... Those over there. Dig this up. Gosh, I gotta head back right now. Well, I can... Tomorrow! Ugh. Like yesterday, I meant. Brain can't think. If you had to remove one color from the world, what color would it be? Well, I can't really see color without my communicator. Galobians can really only see light and dark. So, <laughs> without my communicator, there is no color. Um, If I had to remove one color... Neon pink. Probably. Just, uh, not my favorite, personally. I do like muted pink tones, but like vibrant pink is kind of gross to me. Don't know why, that's just the way it is. Yes, I hear you floating around menacingly, don't worry. Okay, I will just have to get into battle. How about you, Sky? If you had to remove one color, what would it be? What's your home planet like? Well, my home planet, Ubun, is a tidally locked planet, and that means one side's always facing the sun, and one side's uh, always in the shadows. So one side of it is very desertous, there, and one side is very icy with a lot of blizzards and stuff. And then uh, down the middle, there's a Goldilocks zone. It's a little strip of land where it's not too hot and not too cold, and it gets enough sunlight that uh, plant life grows. So that's what my planet's like. It's a little wild. There's a couple other species we share it with. And what I mean by that is um, higher level species. So of course, we have a bunch of... Um, non-sentient species as well but we have the song sisters which are kind of like a snail whirly police i guess and then uh we have the the bunion oh sorry pal you can have that one 
And they're visitors from another planet. They, um... Their planet was attacked by space meanies, so they came to live with us. I would remove yellowish green. I don't know. It just seems weird to me. Oh, like puce? Puce is such a weird color. And the only reason I ever looked up that color was because of Monsters Incorporated. <laughs> I was like, what is puce? That's a good question. It's it's kind of like that yellowish green. It's uh I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, uh We've got quite a bit. I don't know, do I want to upgrade defense? Or offense? Let's uh upgrade offense. Hey, welcome in, SPG. Oh, a nice hydrate. Thank you. Uh, thank you for showing how the video game looks like at the moment. It is currently busy with dealing uh, magical girls, but the view is given from the very beginning. Well, thank you. Uh, let me uh, do that hydrate for you. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Give me a second. Nice and moist. Do you, would you guys like haptic feedback whenever I'm hydrating because I think him can program my communicator to have like drinking water sounds in it. I don't know if that's part of the hydrate function. This game has manual save? No, this game is also auto save. It saves after every day. So at the end of every day it auto saves. And if you go to exit, it also saves uh, automatically. You don't have to like uh, manually save it. So another great game with uh, autosave. But this one, it's so fast that you don't even you don't even notice it's happening, really. Uh, let's uh get to battle. I've got a big laser, and I'm not afraid to use it. You can get that guy over there. I'll let you. Reflect! Get out of here. I need to try and... Well, I basically just shot that guy in the Achilles heel. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, squid friend. Is this where you hang out before there's things to carry? You're so precious. You're just so precious. Just want to squeeze you. And you'd probably be really squishy because you're a cephalopod looking thing. Uh, let's see. Did I get everything? No, this way goes a little further. Oh, not that much farther. Let's go down. Man, I'm gonna need that drill upgrade here pretty soon. Because this is going to be painfully slow. If not, yay! Another upgrade. Let's see what we get. Let's see what is in store for us. Let's go! Hopefully I get the... the elevator as an option again. Just a really nice upgrade. Okay, I have the converter... Or the probe. So the probe, I can find resources, but I can't find upgrades or anything like that. And the resource converter, I think, would be pretty helpful because there's an upgrade you can get for it where it converts one cobalt into five. So let's get that. Uh, do I have enough to upgrade it? Not really. How much do I need? In order to get the one to five, I need to... Uh, upgrade this, and I need four squares. Okay. I don't have a lot of time, so I can't go very far. Can't do a lot of things, so I guess I better just go back to my chair. Better just go back to my seat. Uh, if you enter battle mode, though, I think the timer goes down quicker, so at least you're not waiting as long.
Oh god, the clouds! They are moving and they're dark! Reflect! Get out of here! I don't want none! Those clouds, if they... They take a long time to charge up, but once they get to your your dome and they're charged up, they will send out a constant laser. When I say constant, it's a pretty long uh, lasting laser. It's really painful for the dome. So we want to try to kill those as quickly as possible. Dig up so we have a shortcut just in case. I get stuck here later. I've been stuck before and I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Yay! Triangles! Thank goodness. I'll leave them there and our cephalopoda friend will come and pick them up. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time on this rock. That's way too thick. We'll let him get one. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to move it. I'm sorry. There you go. I love that little grabbing animation. It was so adorable. I love everything about him. Okay, uh, I don't have enough for any upgrades. Go so, to battle. You know, I'm surprised there's no ticks on this map. I get some maps and they're really tick heavy, but this one, not a single tick. Oh, for those who are new to this game, the tick is like a small swarm enemy. Oh, nice. That one was all ground wave. Uh, the tick is a small enemy that comes in swarms. They're really easy to kill, but their swarming factor uh, makes them a little problematic. Water! Let's go! I'm a little excited. Ham's gonna take me out today. We're gonna go to the Cone Median. Get some stuff for the house. And maybe some tasty snacks. The one nearest to where we live right now is a um not a Lawson's, which is surprising. Squares! Yes, and triangles. This is great. This is great business. Man, this rock is... I can't waste my time. I gotta... I gotta go back! I getting hung up on stuff. Ugh. I'm missing it! Oh, don't touch my dome! Yeah. Okay, do I have enough upgrade? Not really. I don't, I don't have a lot. Let's see if I can upgrade the converter. That's going to help us a lot. To the battle! Reflect! I should have saved that reflect for a better time. Oh! Oh! Gosh, that hurts. Get out of here. And you. No! No, stop! Okay. Thank goodness. Okay, I just need one more cobalt and I can start that. Oh, thank you. My friend's on it. He, he understands. We'll start that process where we can, um... Convert and split the cobalt into more cobalt. And my dome really needs these triangles right now. 
Convert one to five, please. We'll set up the overcharge. Let's uh, fix the dome a little. And uh, go back to mining. Give me these squares. Oh, wow, all that for one square. Okay. I'll leave it for my friend. I'll leave it right there so he doesn't have to go very far. Okay, I'm gonna actually scoot the square over because I need another central column. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see how much time. Maybe I can beat this game. We'll see. The maps sometimes are a little deceiving. Some maps can go super quick and some just don't. Oh, oh, I'm running out of time. There's another critter there. I didn't realize it. Ouch! No! Go away! At least that reflection took out some of those aerial enemies. That's right, Stun Laser. You get that guy. I gotta stop these guys. Okay, thank goodness. I need to upgrade my Stun Laser to actually hurt people. But I can only do that when I have the appropriate resources. Wee! Okay, let's get these squares. Goodness, this deposit was huge. Okay, let's get them up. Oh, it's just so much. Ugh. I probably should have dropped a couple of those. There was no need for me to go that slow. There was a friend hiding in that corner. I saw his eyes for a second. Okay, we'll just bring these here so they're easier to collect later. Let's uh get up and go in. Wee! Whoops! I didn't mean to break that. I'm stronger than I thought. Ah, uh, I got time. I got time. I just gotta make sure to leave one for my friend because he's already on his way back down, and I don't want him to come back down here for nothing. We'll leave that one for him. What about you guys? What animal's super cute to you that you don't think is cute to most people? Because cephalopods are mine. I don't know how many people look at a squid and go, oh, look how adorable. Okay, gotta take care of these clouds first. I'll let my stun laser do the work on that other little dude for a second. Get a reflect going. Yes! Strategy! I'm doing it! I'm doing the game! <laughs> ah. Okay, let's go this way. I need to... I, I have to upgrade my drill. This isn't going well. Even these ones that are, aren't supposed to be as compact are taking a couple hits now. So we definitely need to get that drill upgraded. Hopefully the cobalt will be converted by the time we get back up there. I'll leave that one for our friend.
uh, five hits. That's a little much for me. That friend made a noise and it spooked me. I was a little spooked. Okay. Oh wow, I've got a lot of squares. Okay, things are about to be happening now. Stun laser is going to just cause all the damage. And, uh, I don't need to do anything else with the converter right now. Auto collection could be pretty nice. Or two times production speed. I don't have it enough for that anyway. I need to get out of this section and just focus on what I can get. And upgraded dome health is what I can get, so we're gonna get that. It's probably more important than anything else anyway. I hope your game goes well. Sorry, but I need to go. I understand. Thank you for stopping by. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day, and I hope you have a uh, good rest and stuff, because uh, you've probably been working hard. So we'll see you later. Thank you for stopping by. Let's get these squares. Oh gosh, it's time. It's time. Bye, Jenny. Let's uh, stop, stop. No, stop! I said stop. <laughs> you can't be doing this to me. I'm just an innocent girl. Get out of here. Reflect. Oh gosh, they're coming at me from both sides. Go home! There's nothing for you here. Except the laser. Okay. Oh, I don't have any in storage. I wish if you were holding Cobalt, it recognized it, but it doesn't, sadly. Alas. Oh, I could probably upgrade my drill now. No, no, I can't. Okay. Down we go. Where was I? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of squares here. This deposit was nice and big too. Goodness, it's still going. Oh, and we've got water too. Nice. Okay, let's get some of these up. Luckily, they're not too far from the central column. Let's uh, get these over here. Oh, I dropped the wrong ones. Oh, well. Nice, I've got six. So now I should be able to upgrade my drill. Okay, let's see. Trail upgrade, please. I don't have a lot of time. Maybe I could get down here and grab something real quick. Yep, this was a mistake. I don't got enough time. Run! Fly like the wind! Yeah. Oh, barely. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Let's see, do I got anything else? Where can I go? What can I do? Not much. Uh, we'll upgrade stun laser speed. That's nice. Oh, and I can also do stun laser automation, so it'll start fighting for me even when I'm not here. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. Okay, to battle. Is something bad coming? Get him, stun laser, get him! You got this, stun laser. I believe in you. Go home. Get out of here. Thank goodness. Thank goodness.
we'll leave that one square for friend. Ooh, and this has produced another fine water for us. Let's um come here. Oh wow! My first spot! I need to commemorate this somehow. Uh let's see here. How do I how do I get rid of this? Nobody click on this until I can figure out what's going on. And how I can get rid of this. If this existence was a mod, I would ban it now. Thank you. That's so sweet. I if you're interested in really being a mod, you can message me, but I don't know how to do this. Let me get over here. Starting with censoring words. That's true. I don't know if there's a specific word I can put into place to prevent these. That normally bots would say. That is true. They all seem to have the same text, right? All right, let me get over here to my... My mod screen. Sorry if my frames dip. My computer is not built for all this multitasking. You know, this has been all over this place. This specific bot has been spamming my friend's streams as well. The same message. And everything. Uh, and of course, Twitch doesn't want to work with me right now. Here we go. Let's get to dashboard. Manager. I wish I could do it from my mobile device. That's really weird. So that's not a thing. Not asking, just offering help. Well, thank you. And I'm glad for the clarification. Okay, let's... You. Uh, ban. Here we go. And, uh, let's try to get rid of this message. Okay, I think it did it for me. Nice. Okay. All right, let's get back to the game. I've got a little bit of time still. And, uh, thank you, SPG, for your kindness. I guess that makes me kind of official now if I'm getting bots. You shouldn't allow word primes and doge hype. And yes, that bot is banned. Nice. Okay, I'll definitely add that to my my banned word list um, at the end of the stream. What are you? What are you? It needs two squares. Okay, two squares. Oh, and we found part of the uh, the end piece. Well, found some water. Oh, and I found the end piece. Okay. Uh, I don't have time. I gotta come back. Yeah, my game's lagging like crazy. My browser's sucking up the CPU. Okay, we'll come back. That's the, the piece we need to win. So... Let's uh, get back home real quick and get through this wave. Do I have anything I can upgrade? Not really. Okay. Battle! Oh god, it's one of the clouds. Reflect! These are pretty beefy enemies. I need to get this guy down. And I need to get this guy next. Get out of here. 
Okay, let's go get that final piece since stream's almost over. Let's, uh... Well, I kind of want to know what that thing that needs the squares does, though. Because I've never seen that. Get over here. Let's get this uh, unburied at the very least. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can find some squares real quick. If I don't find any within this area before the timer runs out, I'm just grabbing the piece. And I'll have to wait for another round. Okay, I wouldn't have been able to unlock it anyway. There we go. Okay. There's not enough time. Let's grab the piece and go. That guy's scurrying up and down the walls. You go, little guy. Alright, let's get this game beat. The first time I didn't die on stream and I could actually win. I'll set it up. Okay, let's get in. This is the final time we'll be able to upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade the reflect and the fire endurance of the laser. Okay, this is the final wave, so it's going to be pretty harsh. Uh, do the reflect. I'm not going to be able- I don't have a snowball's chance to, to beat this on my own. This final wave is more like a test of strength, I guess, and skill. Yeah, but as you can see, you can't really die. And we did it! We did it! Ugh. Finally! Finally! <sighs> wow. Well, that, um... I don't know why that took me so many times to get right. But I finally did it! I finally did it. Okay, let's, uh, back out of here. Alright, let me uh, scoot up a little. There we go. Now you can see me. All nice and beautiful like in my glory. So, that's all the time we have for today. I'm so happy that I was actually able to beat a level of the dome game. And that was on normal mode and I still died so fast. Have a nice day, safe travel, and keep life, support, and conditions. Thank you, you too, SPG. Thank you everyone for stopping by. I hope you guys have a lovely day. And until next time, have fun, space friends!